Hello guys, so Mand shared this with me a few days ago and it blew my mind. I haven't watched the whole video, I just seen the beginning of it and it's already enough to, to make me absolutely crazy. So what you're about to see here is incredibly OP and unfortunately I cannot try it for my own because I don't have the gear that is required for this. But if you do, try this out, it's gonna blow your mind, but also even if you don't, I hope it's still going to be a very enjoyable, entertaining video. And if you haven't watched it on the man's channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go go poke at man. He hasn't uploaded for a few days, at least for the moment when I'm recording this. It, he might have uploaded by the time this video goes live. But if he didn't, go tell him, what the hell, man? Where is my MK Mobile video? Let, let's bring man back. All right, let's watch. And in case you have some of this equipment, I believe you're going to thank me. If you don't have this equipment, it is what it is. I just wanted to showcase this because, in my opinion, slash Jason with this equipment is absolutely unstoppable. It is all about dots. It's man is flexing his gear. Look at that man. He is absolutely dunking on us. It is rare gear, though, so it's a little bit more feasible to have it maxed out. But I, unfortunately, don't have any of these pieces maxed out. I think I have Time Traveler School Factor maxed out. So, bleed. Bleed is in fashion again, and let me show you why. It's all about healing from dots and so this blood masters bloody finca gives you 40 percent bleed damage boost which is insane basically one special one and that's it if they don't resist the bleed they die this is how strong it is look at this and also dots can critically hit which with increased critical chance and you probably have a decent critical chance from talent tree your bleeds are gonna not just do 40 percent more damage they also can crit which can double their damage which is insane uh, we have uh, basically two bars of power over 10 seconds once I get below 50% health, which means a slasher can uh, start oh, yeah. special one without any issues oh, yeah. if necessary. And we have the Wicked Sister Festive Mask. 50% oh. chance to apply bleed on opponent on any successful special attack. So oh. in a way, slasher Jason can apply double bleed on a single special attack. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, never mind. I'm bad, my bad. Yeah, so that's why you need maxed out Wicked Sister's Festive Mask. That's like the most important piece and that's the one piece that I don't have. Bleed stacks up to three times, and you can vampire. Thirty-three percent damage from up to three last bleed dots. Basically, for whatever your bleeds are hitting, you're gonna be healing for that amount if you have all three bleeds on them. This is insane. This is incredible. Let's see it in action. Uh, no time for bullshit. Both to the wall. We're going to destroy everybody. Uh, okay, I'm going to cast this combo ender because usually because uh, after this combo ender you need to have power in order to do anything. I'm going to do special one, which will probably kill him. But if he doesn't kill him, I'm going to heal back the 10% health I'm missing. Okay, he's not going to die. Which, look at this, I'm healing already. Look at this, it's nice. incredible. And he basically he tagged out, but I keep healing. It's but absolutely busted. It is busted. I'm a special one to reptile, and now I'll be healing from double poison as long as the other poison doesn't expire. Okay, all right, okay. It doesn't expire, so double... Okay, he has double... What? It's busted. If you take a look at the health, you... Oh my god, I hate this This item counter slash Jason so freaking bad. They tag and I have uh, the thing, you know. Oh, that's my I have to tag out. I'm crippled. I cannot do anything. That's unfortunate. So, if you inflict triple bleed, so you need to do one x-ray. Not only that you can kill the entire enemy Ooh, team with that bleed. It's that's... absolutely busted. Look at, look at the damage. But you heal out of it like crazy. I'm going to test that in the next fight. Oh After yeah, I please do. I need team. to see that. It's not going to be a problem at all. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. She's bleeding. She heals for nothing. And she got the Revenant shoot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this gold team is not a problem to beat anyway, but still. Okay, I'm going to do another special I want to see this in Towers. To We're going to see it in Towers by the end of this video. And I wait for myself to heal. Even though the heal is not going to be incredible. Alright, let's see that. X-Ray. I survived. That's wonderful. Okay. Tell me. Tell me that now. Oh my god, look at that heal! He's regenerating like 27,000 health? 26. 27,000 health? Wow! Wow, just wow, that was incredible! That was only from two dots because Oh Kamal my god, didn't imagine get it. if you fight characters that have 1 million health, you will be literally immortal with Slash Jason. Like, oh That's my god, and he, he just true. getting you destroyed by the bleeds. You can and still get destroyed in one attack. This guy attack. going to wreck me. He's going, going to wreck me <laughs> because of that mark. But it is absolutely incredible, right? Wow. That was incredible. All right, this, this, this. Okay, they're going to start bleeding. Okay. 
Okay, two things here. I chickened out and I tagged out Slash Jason. I was fearing that Classic <laughs> Scorpion was going to tag and give me a death mark. Uh, sadly for me, this didn't happen. And I'm saying sadly because I got bleed on all of them. So now the regeneration for Slash will be even better. Unfortunately, once he's tagged out, this thing doesn't work. As oh, you can see, sad. he's tagged out and he doesn't regenerate in the back. Damn, man. Another thing, uh, if you pay actually attention to this fight, uh, you realize that I killed all three enemies with one x-ray. Melina did some damage, but Cabal was dying anyways. All we took was one x-ray, and they all basically tagged in at 5 health, 100 health, stuff like this. Absolutely busted. Yes, it is. Please don't keep, don't do anything stupid. No! Snare. Resist. Oh, <gasps> thank you very much. Okay, that was so much. lucky. Uh, now I'm going to talk to this guy. Again. They're still bleeding. Once again, the bleeds is absolutely destroying them. The bleeds is destroying them. Okay, this time, this time I was I was saved by the bell. Okay. Come on, he heal. So I'm okay with the death mark now. <laughs> I'm okay because Scorpion dies. So it's all good. It's all good, guys. Scorpion dies. Okay. Dies in bell. All right. So we defeated Battle 127. Uh, the moment I did the triple bleed with Slasher Jason and that bleed absolutely demolished the enemy team. I said to myself, okay, why don't I create a similar strategy so I can actually start with X-Ray or Fatal Blow, do it immediately, then absolutely destroy the enemy. So this is what I did, and it is glorious. So oh, I would see just that. advise you to sit, relax. Oh enjoy. yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, classic raid, of course. So we're not even using Slasher Jason in this one. So we're using classic rain. Okay, I'm glad, man, you don't care about ad revenue, but I do. So I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> Sorry. Look at them bleeds. Wait, so we can apply team bleed using soak and bleed. Okay, that's smart. That's smart. Look at this man heal. Holy crap, he has maxed out classic rain. That's insane. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Was this regeneration battle? So this should technically work on any character. It doesn't have to be Slash Jason. The, the reason Slash Jason is probably the best for it is that he has a bunch of lives to save him in case he dies. He can, like, heal back up from his... Like, he has, like, basically three health bars, which most characters won't. Okay, so if I were to raid this method in the end. Oh my god, look at this. Team bleeds. Now oh no, wait, he he's going for team He's not going for soak, he's going for just team bleed. Melina didn't get bleed, because this tower we have debuff resistance. But look at this Scarlet is already dead. Six hundred thousand HP. To be fair, he is using maxed out diamond card. I would love to see this with actually like fusion zero smoke or fusion zero slash adjacent to see if it's still effective i don't think it is though i don't think it is effective because first of all you need to have very powerful tower gear second of all slash adjacent as soon as he dies i mean the heals are not gonna matter at all the bleeds are gonna matter and if you jason doesn't have enough health to tank at least basic combo which in in, in high tower battles is gonna do lots of damage it's not gonna work consistently but again all you need to do is to make him start with x-ray and just do one x-ray and it's already gonna pretty much kill the entire enemy team and then you can use the rest of your two characters to clean up you don't even care about the heal this could work this could work i think i think it has i think i think it's pretty viable if you manage to max out uh the the uh Passive mask. That's I, I keep forgetting names of gears. If you manage to max it out, then yeah, you can definitely just have one character in your team that's gonna set your the whole enemy team on bleed and then die, and then the rest of your team just built to survive and clean up. And if the enemies don't have them kill and jade or don't have any kind of resistance to bleed, it's an easy win. I. I think I think it's a viable strategy. See, sometimes some PC you look at it and you're like, I don't know how that could be super useful. But then when you find something like this, like I never never had an idea to use festive mask like this. But 
man did and it proved to be very very effective all right guys thank you so much for watching again thank you man for sharing this this is absolutely busted go subscribe to man subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one take care